Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a question in in the comments on the videos. Uh, this one's from YouTube user Simon Rose. I really enjoy your style of presenting. It's very factual and covers a lot of basics that most people don't really understand. Keep up the good work. I'm trying to choose between full frame Nikon D750 versus APS-C D500 and four thirds Lumix G9. Main use would be landscape, nature, including animals. In other words, I want to mix a very wide angle and long telephoto with minimal weight and maximum stabilization. Any thoughts? Well, thanks for your question, Simon, and thank you for the compliments. Um, you didn't mention if you're mostly photography or if you're a mix of photo and video, because to me it makes a big difference. Two of those cameras, for one thing, are 4K cameras, the 500 and the Lumix, Panasonic Lumix G9. 750 isn't, um, but out of all of them, if you're just doing photography, the 750 would probably be my choice. Uh, I know it's 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 been out for a while, but it's a beautiful camera. 24 megapixels is pretty much enough for anybody. Um, it's kind of like an like for those of us that remember the film days, it's like a digital F100. It's a very nice camera. It doesn't have the built-in grip, so it's smaller and lighter. Um, great autofocus system. Very good performing sensor. Uh, great mix of lenses available for it. Um, you know, there's a lot available in the Nikon system, as well as from Sigma and Tamron um, that you could go with. So that would probably be my first leaning would be that way. If you were shooting heavily video or even more video than photography, then it would change. I would probably go G9 because for video, I really like the, the Panasonic system for video. I'm shooting the G85 for this, and I, for, for video at the moment, it's my favorite setup. Uh, it'll be interesting to see once the new Nikons come out and I get my hands on those. Um, the D500 would probably be my second choice if you're heavily video, because it does do 4K. It's a very good low-light camera, and you got a lot of good lenses available at decent prices in the Nikon system for the D500. I'd also like to throw out there that out of everything, if I was mostly just doing photography, it wouldn't be any of those cameras. If I have my choice, as much as I like the 750, I would get the D810. I think it's probably the best value in a full-frame camera right now in the sense that it can be had for an incredible price around $1,000 right now. 36 megapixels, incredible performing sensor, lots of resolution. You really do notice the difference between 36 and 24. It's, a, it's quite a jump. Um, still very clean sensor. Great performing camera, great autofocus system. Everything about the D810 I really like, and I just think it's a fantastic value at current prices, what it can be had for. So I wanted to throw that in there too because that's probably the way I would go if you're not doing video. So what do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Um, if you're not doing video, would you go 750 or 810? The 810 would be my number one choice. Out of the three he's got there, I'm going to say the 750. If you're doing video more, would you go with the G9 as your number one choice or something else? Let us know what you would do in the comments below. Let's help out Simon. Uh, let us know what you would do and why. Always great to hear back uh, feedback from you guys, um, maybe even your user experience with some of these cameras. Helps our viewers when they write in with questions. Um, it's more feedback, more information to base their decisions on. It's always great to get that, that feedback from you guys, that response to help out uh, a fellow, fellow viewer, fellow shooter. So uh, thanks, Simon. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.